Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Brianna and we are bringing you along as we get our barn cleaned up today and do some more work on the garden. We have had several weeks of more illnesses and it has been hard to record during all of that because I've just been wiped out. So the kids all passed around another like fever cold virus and got it one right after the other. So it took forever to get through our house and um, I didn't catch it, but I ended up being the one to take care of everybody. So we are finally recovered from that and catching up on everything. It has been raining for a couple days and we need to get the stinky barn taken care of and get our garden finished or more work done. And uh, so we'll take you along as we do this. So we are working on putting the braces here and filling in the bottom part on the sides. You can see that needs like one more board. So we're working on that today. And then we can finish filling this bed. We need to get some more cardboard for the rest. Scott said he could help me in the barn. So we shifted gears and ran out to the barn. I thought was gonna be a quick, <laughs> quick little outing to the barn to get the few things we need done. But it turned out to take a little bit longer. There is a lot of poop. We're gonna do a good deep clean. And then I'll lay down some DE. Hold well on. Let's get the wheelbarrow and we'll start scooping it into the wheelbarrow. Wait, just a minute. Are you handsome? You feeling better? Oh my What's gosh. What's she doing over there? He's What's talking she... to you. Hey West! Best rooster. Oop. Right out of there, you can't come out. That one's pretty good usually. Doesn't usually have much on it. See, somebody sleeps on the pallet over there. I need to like put a board across there so they can't sleep on those. Because they make a huge mess. Poop everywhere. All cleaned out and ready for some DE. Can I clean out your nesting box, please? No. She's like, uh, no. I've got a broom. I can try to share. She's gonna come. I know. Over. I might as well go from behind and try to usher up. Okay, we got that chicken out of the nesting box and now we're gonna put some more DE on this side of the barn. And DE is just diatomaceous earth and that is what we are putting down to help with mite control. Um, since we started using this in our coop, we haven't had any issues with mites. So it works pretty good, at least for us. So, so many uses for DE and uh, you'll have to look those up to see all the different ways you can use it. You wanna especially hit the cracks of wood because that's where the mites like to hide their roosting bars and the ground, like where the, the mites may have been under the bedding. So we just do this between all deep cleans of the barn. Fresh pine shavings down, looking so good. It won't last very long, but it looks good right now. The goats have been banished to the little chicken coop. Yeah, to stay out of the way. Did you guys get nosy and try to escape? Is that rat? <laughs> oh, and Jade is in heat. Again. I know. Next we're working on the goat side and that side has just really stacked up. It's very thick bedding right now because we just keep throwing hay at the goats and um, their feeder wasn't working really well for them. They weren't able to get it out very well. And so we were just throwing it on their pallet, which then it turned into like half of that ended up being bedding. So we have like, so much hay over there that needs to be scooped out and this is the a little bit of hay that we have left from our winter supply we are definitely not going with the people we got the hay from last time because it is not that great of hay it was sold as grass mixed grass i think or something like that hay and we thought well the goats have been eating that all summer in our fields right this should be fine no they don't really like it they waste a lot of it, and a lot of it's really thick and coarse, and they don't eat that at all. So we learned our lesson, we're not doing that again. But um, now we're just trying to get through all of this so we can get it out of here, because I think that's really making the rats 
have like a place to hide and we need them to be gone as well. Outside was a nasty mess. I could not believe how much hay came out of here because of all the waste. We finally got it all cleaned up. I need to put some DE down, but it was gross. Cause I can see him gone. Oh, I'm gonna put one in. We're repurposing the garden gate as part of their stalls in the goat barn. So super cool because the buck comes next weekend. So we're gonna be ready for him. We found uh, another pallet and we're gonna make this the gate to get into the stall and use a spare wood to fill in those gaps on that pallet. Using what we have. All right, we've got their little pallets back in here, their feed bins hung up. We have one pallet here with a T post to hold that in. Then this pallet has a hook and eye to hold it back and then closes with a little rigged up latch system here. We're gonna get like a little carabiner to put there so they don't knock it open. But that is the way we're dividing the barn so that we can have, ooh, we can have the buck and then the girls can have babies and be separated. What were we See doing what their here? reaction is. What's going on? It changed. <laughs> They're like, this looks different. <laughs> the hay feeder's gone. The hay feeder's gone. Yeah, we gotta rig up hay feeders still. Hi, Jay. What do you think of your new stalls? There's no food. At least you could have done this. I know. Food. They're like, um, okay. Extreme makeover, go to dish. <laughs> Do you approve? They like the wall. <laughs> Yeah, they're really interested in that. What do you think? What do you think, Missy? Hi. I opened up a lot of the winter sewing jugs. They're looking so good. They got really flooded yesterday with our storms. I had to rescue them and bring them into the garage. It looks like most of them are doing okay. So yesterday, between the storms, I planted some of the seedlings from inside. It's kind of hard to see them, but there's some in here. <laughs> They're really tiny. And these ones are a little bit bigger. That's some kale down there and some lettuce starts over there. I put a little bit of carrot starts along here. It's hard to see with all the <laughs> wires and everything, but I put these wires on top because of the cat, wherever she went. I put the wires on top here because of the cat. I was afraid she was gonna get in here and try to use it as a litter box and ruin my little starts. Well, and that is all we got done today. We did the barn, we burned the bedding because there was so much of it and it was disgusting. And now we are out of time, so it is time to go in and make dinner and we'll try to get to the beds at a different day. It is also very wet out here still so I don't think we were going to be able to move the dirt and like siphon it through my little filter that I made to help get all the big stuff out of the soil so I really think that it wouldn't have worked anyways today but so we will have to pick that up on a different day we'll see if we get out here tomorrow we've got school we've got ballet so you know busy days <laughs> thanks for joining us today as we made updates to the goat barn getting ready for our buck to get here to get the girls pregnant and we are super excited that we were able to get so much done in there i really didn't think we were going to get to the stalls but we did and how exciting because now we are ready we'll catch you guys on the next video